Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, in the last episode we took on the boss and I explained some stuff. We also did the water level upstream. Uh, in this episode we're going to be taking on the rolling stones here. So let's go into that. This level is basically like jungle rollers, which we've already done. Uh, which you might have guessed from the title of it. So, uh, sh to start off there, there was a plant that I'm just gonna... I just span into those boxes, which looks really cool. Um, and yeah, th this is just kind of like another variation of a uh, jungle rollers, basically. Um, it's a little bit harder, um, as you can tell in the background there. Also, that right there I just picked up is a uh, Nitrous Brio head. Now, basically, a Brio head takes you to a sort of almost darker sort of bonus stage. It's, it, they, they tend to be a lot harder than the town of stages. Uh, and basically, well, you don't get anything for it. To be honest, you don't get to save the game or anything like that. It's just kind of an extra bonus thing. There is one in that box right there that I just broke. Now the thing about this here is I broke two boxes already. Here and here. Now basically what you want to do is you want to break this one that I just did, which is the Brio head. Uh, this one is just another Wampa Fruit. And this one in the middle is an extra one up, so you might want to get that. Uh, if you're daring enough to get it. Um, and yeah, so as you can see, there's two bonuses on this stage. Now, the town of bonus, we'll be able to make a save at if we complete it. And also, there's the Brio stage, which is not till the end of the level, I believe. Um, which is alright. Um, and yeah, so... There's not, there's not too much to say about this level. Um, basically that in the middle there, this will, that thing I just stepped on to get across there will basically drop down if you spend too long on it. So as you can see, it, it's progressively getting harder, the game. Um, to be honest, this is the hard, I mean, like, there's, a, there's the original Crash Trilogy, uh, Crash 1, Crash 2, Crash 2 is my favourite actually. And there's also Crash 3, um, and this is actually regarded as the, the hardest of the games just because of like basically I think something I forgot to explain was that if you die in a level um, basically what happens is you all the boxes you've previously smashed uh, will reset so basically if you've already got a checkpoint all the boxes before that checkpoint will reset which is kind of, which is why it's so hard to complete like 100% because obviously um, you know it, it basically if you die you've pretty much got to start all the way back at the beginning with some levels and it's kind of a pain so <laughs> yeah uh, as you can see that there's a blue gem and we can't go down there just yet that basically takes you underneath the uh wow that really just happened um <laughs> that should not have just happened like i pressed the button right there i don't know why my my controller i'm, I'm not Making excuses, but my control for some reason's being a bit glitchy. It doesn't want to jump sometimes. Anyway, and um, right here, there's a kind of a small glitch you can do, and if if this performed right, you can get an extra one up. As you can see, I'm on 29 right now. If I hit this question mark box and also this one with one spin, I can get an extra one up. And when I return, I will have another one up. So if I can perform it right, as you can see there, when I enter the bonus stage. Um, I'm on 30 now. So as you can see, after we beat this level, I should be able to get an extra one up from it. As you can see, these bonuses are quite hard, the Brio stages. You've got the sort of mine running in the background there, trying to distract you. And Don't worry about this guy, he can't hurt you when he explodes. Um, that, would, that was Brio himself. So yeah. As you can see, we just return back to Rolling Stones here. And... Uh, as you can see, the 1-up reappears. How about that? Get two 1-ups. So yeah, that's something I found out like over 10 years ago. <laughs> and uh, I always remember that little thing. So yeah, uh, that does it for Rolling Stones, uh, which we'll have to return to again. So let's go for Hogwild. Let's do that. And uh, basically uh, this... Well... You'll see. We're basically riding on a hog. <laughs> uh, this is probably one of the more fun episodes. Uh, sorry, I keep calling the levels episodes. In fact, probably episodes anyway. Um, basically, you are 
you're basically traveling through the level, you can't stop or anything like that. You basically have to ride this thing all the way to the end. You have to get the boxes in between um, and avoid stuff. So yeah. And uh, I remember there is a harder variation to this. There is a harder level um, of this. There's a secret level which we'll get into. It's, it's related to the keys I, I mentioned earlier in an earlier episode. So we'll get into that eventually. Um, Basically, you just want to break the boxes and uh, just avoid everything. And if you can do that, you will get another gem. Uh, like, like I said, there's no hidden areas or anything on these kinds of levels. You're just going straight forward and riding through it. Um, and it's pretty. I mean, for someone like me who's played this game over and over again, it's pretty easy. I remember the pattern. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. And there's another one of those to come eventually. And there we go, free gems. So we're making pretty good progress. 17% done already. So yeah, six levels down, free gems. And continue. So yeah, anyway guys, I'm going to thank you all for watching this episode. We're nearly done with Island 1. Uh, so yeah, there's just one level to go, and then we're finished with this island, and then we can move on to the next one. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time when we do Native Fortress. See you then.